Hello everyone and welcome to the Ladders Club. In this video, we'll be looking at the crypto market and how it is behaving today and do some charting for a few coins such as BTC, Mana, Luna, uh, PYR and a uh, few more maybe. Let's see how it goes, right? Uh, okay, let's start off with BTC. So BTC, the week started off green. We did not expect that. We did not expect that. I was expecting a little bit of red over here, then maybe you know some more relief rally, but the day started off red, went down, but then we started popping up. We started pushing up. We started rallying and the relief rally continues. We are basically on a path where we took support down here. We are back to moving up towards the 38k region. We are still basically below the resistance, I'll say, because we have not closed the day. Uh, we are still trying to break it. But I anticipated to be broken. I anticipated to go till 39, 500-ish uh, area, you know, where the baseline currently is for Lattice Pro Plus. Touch that, maybe come back down, you know, just give some take a breather, come back down, and then we can see what happens. Then if the buyers come in, we can go ahead, break, and then start off another uptrend. But for now, I see a relief rally. This is this is no big thing. This is not this this whole you know green candles or in my case golden candles, how I call it, are not something to be you know be happy about. Something to be you know something to basically cheer about. I think we still need to be a bit more skeptical. We still need to understand that the market can turn around at any point of time we are still in a downtrend and as we all know when you are in a downtrend when you are playing the market in a downtrend you basically have to respect the trends you basically have to keep an eye on the levels so i'll be concerned when we reach 40 cash 39.5 40 i'll be looking at the market and i'll be looking for a shot at that point of time let's go to the four hourly chart where i would like to show you how, what is happening? What are our shorter or medium time frame goals right now? So number one, which is the best part, we have had a trend reversal, which happened on 29th of Jan. We can see that we basically broke the high time frame trailer over here. Then we basically, then we, uh, the wave crossover happened at this point of time at 29th Jan midnight, to be honest. From then onwards, the trend has reversed on the medium time frame. That means that, yes, we will be seeing some upside to BTC, but not necessarily that it will be in one go. It is not going to be, you know, 100% gains in two days time. No, it's not going to be like that. We are trying to break this resistance, which has been, which is basically still standing until we close this candle in the next 28 minutes. If we close above it, this will be the first time that we will close above this candle from the time we broke this level uh, on 21st of Jan. So it has taken us around about more than around 10 days to try and break this level but looks like we'll break it for me i will be looking at this area i hope i feel that we'll go to 39500 come down let's see if we can hold this level let's see if we can really really hold this level maybe i'll enter along maybe maybe not from the high time frame perspective i'll not but maybe from a medium time frame if we hold this level and if we are seeing some sort of bounce then maybe the trend has reversed completely and we are looking at something like this possibly but i would not bet my life on it i'm still expecting btc to get rejected from 39500 and come down make a double bottomish structure and that's that's when we'll decide what we are trading on let's move on let's move on let's go to our next coin let our next coin for today will be mana mana has been making noise mana has been making noise I was expecting certain things from mana uh, we had a trend breakout and everything on the daily chart we have given a very beautiful 10 percent to 11 percent candle uh, we went down initially so the whole day move is 20 percent which is quite impressive right but there has been news and metaverse has been in news metaverse has been popping around which is good but now how do we trade this if you have missed this trade which i think most of us would have uh, i feel the discord community for lattice pro plus uh, for that for the lattice club already knew what's going on in the mana was and a lot of people were in there thanks to a few of our a few of our traders who have been keeping an eye on it so a lot of us were already in a long position but now i am in a short position the reason being this this is the moving average 200 day for the four hours so this is not for the daily this is the four hourly uh, moving average 200 right we have just tagged it i entered a short position just as we tagged it my stop loss is basically this resistance line i mean i could go over here i'm quite okay to do that as well but for now i'm basically just it's a very 
you know very, very sharp stop loss so i don't want it to be too massive and i am targeting the previous you know lows i'm basically saying that okay we might go until here so it, it's somewhere around it's like a one hour trade it's not a massive trade but i feel a reaction coming from the four hour 200 uh, moving average i feel that we would be rejected a little bit on top of that we have the high time frame trailer for the daily which is at the same level so that's two resistance that's a confluence of resistance and as you know once you start getting confluence resistance or confluence support they get stronger and stronger so yeah uh, i feel mana will fly i feel mana has the legs i feel it will consolidate though i, I feel it has the legs to go beyond this resistance level but maybe the path that we are looking at could be something like this like maybe the close today will be here somewhere around this speed this area we might come down oh, sorry about that we might come down and test this this resistance which was broken then maybe here then maybe something along that lines you know like it could happen in a day it could happen in a day we could come down we could retest it on a shorter time frame maybe on a four hourly time frame come down retest bang bang that's it we are out maybe it can happen in a day but for me if i'm looking at a swing trade i'm really looking at a four hourly or a at least a two hourly retest of this resistance again otherwise i'm not entering it otherwise i'm still waiting for it otherwise i'm waiting for some other sort of setup maybe the break of this and a retest of this uh, resistance zone so yeah mana is looking good to me mana is looking good to me uh, for the short time frame i'm in a short i'm going to be shorting the market market uh, longer time frames or a medium time frame uh, setup i feel mana is going to show some strength let's move on let's move on let's move on to luna luna has been the king of the day we were very clear we were very clear from the beginning we posted a video yesterday we posted it very clearly and we said we will be buying we will be buying luna on the tag we bought luna on the tag initially we regretted buying buying luna on the tag we had a position over here or we are aiming for 76 levels because we feel that luna once when it starts going whether it be, it's upside or downside once you start going you go yeah it flies right there is no stopping it so our stop loss was just below this level at 39.44 we did take a risk uh, we could have had a stop loss here but that didn't make sense it would have been very it would have been very sharp so we had a stop loss around 39 level which is kind of confluent with the lows over here so uh, some somewhere around that period we tagged luna yesterday that 200 day uh, moving average we entered yesterday it started going down and then it flew then it flew we are up we are up massive we are already up by around 15 percent so what a trade this has been uh i'll basically bring in a small thanks to crypto honey i mean what a trade you pick mate what a trade you pick what a setup how well it is working we expect luna to run we expect we expect luna to show strength once 200 day moving average is one of the strongest moving average in the whole you know technical analysis anytime you hold support on 200 day moving average it's good it's nice it's lovely you get you get in you take a long so yeah luna is looking good to us luna is looking strong to us the charts available we have our resistance zones marked we have our supports marked let's see how it goes let's see how luna performs in the coming days let's get down to pyr pyr is looking good thanks to hamza today uh, he highlighted the setup so the credits to him it's his setup we are just using it uh, so yeah uh, he's also part of our community so feel free to ping him feel, feel free to buzz uh, tell ask him why he thinks we should be buying pyr vulcan forged has been consolidating for a while so uh, i'm going at a one hour time frame because that is where the setup seriously comes to life right it has been consolidating in this range over here and we we have been looking at it from a i have been looking at it from a sideways market perspective and i did not check it out today so i did not check out pyr today i did not know what's going on pyr should have been bought over here imagine this ladders pro plus the winner of all right ladders pro plus ht htr uh, high time frame trailer acted as a perfect support price came down a bear trap broke it boom 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 and there we go imagine if you would have longed this that was a 22 percent move just from a trailer it shows you directly i play this my strategy one of my strategies is to play the trailer so at a medium time frame to a short, shorter time frame i play the trailer as a support and resistance like a take profit or an entry so yeah 
perfect entry would have been there but that's cool that happens that's part of the game right we missed it it's completely fine we look for another entry we have just broken through the resistance we are going up i am now waiting for a retest on the early i want the price to come down i want the price to retest the 10.7 mark my orders are already in at 10 point around 10.71 it's not exactly 10.70 like i think our resistance uh, so our support is around 68 but my orders are 10.71 ish so it will come down i expect this path to take uh take course wanted to come down then we go up then we then we go up this is what i expect pyr to do obviously if btc behaves everything everything in the cryptocurrency world everything in the crypto market world comes down to btc right we all know that we all have seen that we all have seen our portfolios crash right part and parcel of it so that's completely cool now one would say why can't we go higher we could go higher i mean we should have gone higher the issue is we have a 200 day moving average on the four hourly which is coming from the top uh, i basically realized this over here so if we see that this is the 200 day moving average for four hourly which is coming so i do not want to risk i do not want rejection here i could basically say that we'll go till here we go you know we gain a 25 percent four hour trade uh, where we can basically put a trailing stop loss once we hit the 200 day moving average so maybe we have a trailer which is coming which can be the current time frame trailer which is coming from here we can follow it we can use it as a stop loss but yeah um, the safest call will be some something along these lines you know having a take profit finishing off with the, your so in when you want basically when you go for the test from the underside for the 200 day moving average you basically just close your trade if we claim it we re-enter that's completely fine one day we'll have to claim it so we we, we re-enter when we claim it so not before that so yeah uh that is what i'm looking at from PR, pyr's perspective you know pre-test boom 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 go till the 200 day moving average for four hourly if you want to close your trade there close your trade take the profits if not you can basically book some profits and then let it run with a uh, trailing stop loss let's get moving let's get moving to the next one which will be uh, uh which one is the next one rmrk so ash ash requested this chart and uh, let's see let's see what we are looking at daily currently we are sitting under the baseline so basically baseline is acting as a resistance right now and it's not just for now in the last three four days we are just under the baseline we are trying to break through but we are not able to so i expect that we might have some sort of a rejection i mean if BT, BT, if btc shows strength we might just pop out we might just go for for this level straight away so instead of uh, me saying that we'll go downwards maybe btc shows strength and we might just go like this possible every path is possible right we might just go down we might go to zero possible why not but my expectation is we are doing this we come down right we break and then we fly i mean that's what i'm expecting a double i mean that is what i'm expecting for most alts i'm expecting that for btc as it is we need some sort of momentum to push forward we need some sort of momentum to come into the market where we can kind of you know go down get some people out of leverage because even now there are lots of people with <laughs> big big leverages on big positions so get them out of the market liquidate them then we roll forward so that is how i am looking at things i'm looking at mostly my longs are right now i have i'm long in hnt hnt i had a very good we had a very good setup which is already in play we saw a bull flag we played it out we were close to hitting our tp1 but then btc decided to do some maneuvers late night yesterday came down we didn't hit our stop loss and we are back up again we are back going towards our tp1 surely will hit it we had a very good scalp call coming in from the beat from btc bot hit out so basically we dc it three times before hitting the tp so that is the ma that is the maximum profit that you could have made on the scalp so that was lovely i'm i'm shorting mana right now but in the long term i want to long or a medium time frame term i'm going to be longing mana i'm long in atom uh it's looking good to me atom uh i have already posted some of the charts on discord atom is looking good to me and yeah pyr i'm waiting for it i'm waiting for pyr to come down and uh, let us enter so yeah let's see let's see let's look for some green big green candles and as uh, as uh, we say it like make some money and let's see how it goes happy trading guys uh, thank you for watching the video and thank you for bearing with me uh, have a good day thank you